Hello, everybody. I just thought I'd share some uh, some points with you. I'm a, might be a bit naive of me. I just wonder if you if you go on the internet and there's a lot of property trainers and a lot of property people right now. And I've started getting involved with a lot of these people in terms of having conversations with them. But one of the key concepts a lot of them are pitching towards, you know, prospective students, I suppose, is the concept of rent to rent. Now, it's probably me being naive and not knowing about this. So I'm putting this video out there to get a better understanding, if I have to be honest. Only, all you have to do is just type in rent to rent in YouTube and there's lots of videos about it. So I know the concept of rent to rent. What I wonder is how many of those landlords that they're pitching to actually understand that they have to notify their lenders and how much is that sort of shown to them or make prevalent in their contracts that they're essentially, if they're a leasehold, a lot of the leaseholders will not allow Airbnb type setups. They will not allow a HMO setup. OK, um, there are there, a lot of those um, leaseholds will say, you know, for AST purposes only, so for family only. So that's one concept. And also, if you go freehold, um, do a lot of those lenders actually know so these people are giving out these contracts to limited companies and those companies are doing whatever they're doing with it short-term lets or whatever but do people actually notify their lenders we've been around the block for a long time i've been doing this for 15 years in this company and obviously i've been in the mortgage industry longer the amount of business that's been written in rent to rent i don't think we're seeing those level of inquiries in regards to the mortgage okay and i don't think necessarily the mortgage lenders are aware how prevalent this is right so the key question is do people know that they're breaking the lenders rules many lenders rules all right there are a few lenders that will allow that type of structure but i'm getting the feeling those lenders are not the ones that these people are with so what do you think what do you think is going on i'm just you know i'm just trying to find out uh, am I just being naive? Am I not in um, not in the real world? How I, I just can't see. It. I can't see the concept. If there was so much of this stuff happening, people that got rent rents all over the place, then they should be doing consents to the lenders. So they should be notifying these lenders. Now I know a lot of these lenders don't give those consents. They don't give permissions. You're not allowed to do so. So what's happening? Let me know.